on Saturday. Um, so, uh, what more can the government do to close the North-South divide? It's a problem of deep and long-term nature. I, you have a phenomenon called London, a world city, playing at the top of the frontiers of world economic activity. Uh, there's no way you can expect to find that same dynamism or rate of growth throughout the rest of the United Kingdom. The challenge to politicians is to do the best they can to enable the rest of the United Kingdom to keep up with what is happening across the world. And what I think is fair to say, in my experience of Liverpool now going back to the 70s, the transformation here has been remarkable in that time. It hasn't been concluded, that we haven't reached the end of the journey, but my word, nobody can say we didn't make some pretty exciting progress. And there's a lot to go for. I just had a lunch with the Mayor, and talking about his plans for the next few years. And wherever you look today, there are new opportunities here. That's what government has got to encourage, but in the end, a lot of it is down to the people. But doesn't austerity need to end before cities like Liverpool will pick up? No, Liverpool is picking up all the time. There have been a lot of new jobs announced just in, in the last few weeks. Um, and, and you see today's uh, unemployment figures, which are down again. We've got a record number of people employed in this country. And that's despite having to fight our way through the worst recession of modern times. Just think how much more exciting it can be as growth is now coming back. That's super. Uh, I think that okay. covers it, yes. Okay. Thank